Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I didn't know what to record, so I was looking for ideas like all day and asking you guys for ideas as well. And then I was thinking, I actually haven't done like a sit down and chat kind of video in a while. So I was like, I think I'll do a tag. So I Google different tags and then I find a get to know me tag. And if you've been following me for a while, you'll know that my first video was a get to know me tag. Hi Bo. Okay, so I got these questions off the internet, so they could be a little bit dodgy. I've had to read through them and most of them seem okay. You know the way some of them are like really American and I just don't get like some of the terms that they use. Okay, let's go. So the first question is name. So my name is Emma Doyle. Uh, my middle name is Louise. And I use my middle name quite often. So my nicknames. My nicknames probably be... Like, I don't have any exciting names. <laughs> They're like Emma Lou or Emma. Well, obviously, that's my name. Or M, or my mum and dad used to call me Emmy when I was younger. Um, birthday is 16th of April 1996, so I'm just gone 21. Um, my place of birth was here in Dublin. My star sign is Aries and my occupation is but like I'm a student in college and I also work part time in retail. So yeah, that's it. They're pretty basic boring questions. So hopefully they get more interesting now. <laughs> or you'll all be a student, so will I. So appearance, um hair colour blonde sometimes balayage because my roots like to grow very often um hair length it's like middle kind of length i can't even describe it it's like i wouldn't say i have like really long hair but i don't have short hair anymore i used to have short hair but like I got cut like a year ago and I've just been like getting it trimmed since like haven't been getting a full on cut so it's just kind of been growing but yeah it's not very long and I wear extensions as well so this is it without extensions it's very skinny my colour is green most of the time it kind of changes sometimes it's a bit more like hazily and I actually used to have brown eyes when I was younger like full on brown eyes like browner than brown when I was younger then they went like kind of hazel which is like a mixture of like brown and green and now they're just like full on green pretty much most of the time Um, my best feature that's so awkward probably my eyes just because I don't know I like having a colour eyes that not everyone has really I know lots of people probably have green eyes but and yeah I also just like the shape of my eyes because I just know my own eyes well like I just know what sort of makeup suits my eyes and whatever else like I just know my eyes um, braces no I don't have braces I've never had braces I wish I did have braces I know my teeth aren't really really bad um, but like they're not great like this one here sort of overlaps this one uh, and this one here as well is crooked. That's not very noticeable. But I think the rest of them are fine. But I might get braces in the future, like the invisible ones or something. Maybe, but like they're not a huge, huge, huge priority. But I have always been a little bit self conscious about my teeth. But they're not bad, like honestly, God, they're not bad. And I know that. So I'm just being dramatic when I talk about them. And tattoos, I don't have any. I'm not like against them or anything. I really like them on other people, but. I just don't happen to have any. Yeah, I wouldn't be objective to them, but yeah. I don't know, I just don't know if I'm like the sort of person that would have loads of tattoos if you get me. So maybe one or two little cute ones. Am I a righty or lefty? I am right handed. First, so my first best friend, probably my friend Emma, who lives in my road, we're still like best friends now. Um, since we were like literally like three when we played it on the road. My first award that I won, I haven't got a flipping clue if I've ever won any awards in my whole life. I actually cannot think of one that I've won, which is brilliant. Very good. I'm such an overachiever. Stop that. 
my first sport hmm I think the first sport I played was probably like tennis because my granddad used to try and teach me and my brother and my cousin tennis and it was just a disaster because we were just so 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 bad and um, we just like dust the whole time like bashed the balls around the place and yeah my poor granddad had an awful time my first real holiday my first real holiday was probably like when I was like pretty young and I would have went away with my parents to like Spain or something um, and my first holiday like without my parents was when I went to Magaluf with my friends um, just after we finished school so like three years ago my first concert was like one of those childline concerts I think one of those childline concerts I think um, and yeah we got to go backstage me and Rob and we met Girls Aloud and we were delighted best day ever so favourites my favourite film um, my favourite film is probably like oh I don't know one of the ones with like Zac Efron or Channing Tatum in them but I don't know which one I do really like The Veil but it's very sad and I don't really like being sad so I don't really watch sad movies anymore it's weird I used to love all those sad movies and I just don't watch them like I just don't watch like stuff like that anymore I don't know why there's no reason I just don't really bother um, I like Bad Neighbours actually that's really funny and has Zack in it so it makes me happy like, I like watching stuff that I enjoy I don't like watching stuff that makes me like sad or like have to think <laughs> sounds so stupid but it's just me my favourite TV show is probably Made in Chelsea I'm not 100% sure if that's my fave fave because I do really like Keeping Up With The Kardashians as well but they're both pretty close my favourite colour I always just say my favourite colour is like pink since I was younger but I don't actually know what my favourite colour is it's probably like grey or black because I wear them all the time or white, I really like white stuff as well but they're not really colours so I'm just going to say pink my favourite song see I'm not one of those people that like loves one song forever like I like what's like new and then I'm just like sick of it after a week like I pay it on repeat for a week and then I'm like nah it's not really me anymore and then I like a different song so that's real me but my favourite song ever is probably Underneath Your Clothes by Shakira because I've always really liked that since I was really young he's singing on karaoke when I was really young so don't judge my favourite restaurant is I'm going to say I'm like a tacky bitch but it's probably Eddie Rocket because I just love it so much I don't know why me and all my friends love it so much like it's genuinely our favourite place like ever like ever to go we love we always go like I love one of their brownies now or something though and their ice cream I'm starving okay my favourite store is probably Zara at the moment because you just can't go in there without seeing something that you like genuinely need like need like not even just something that you'd like like but like you need yesterday i went in and i was like i'm not gonna spend any money today not a cent because i don't get paid until the end of the week and i just need money to live obviously um but yeah i bought a t-shirt a t-shirt i bought a flipping t-shirt like i don't need a flipping t-shirt i literally do not need a t-shirt but I did, I do need it. And I'm so happy that I bought it. I have absolutely no regrets, not one. Not half of one, not an inch of one, not a quarter of one, not a blade of one, none. Zilch. <laughs> My favorite book, having a clue, haven't read a book in about 59 years. My favorite magazine, haven't read a magazine in about 50 years either. Do you remember Kiss Magazine when we were five? I don't know, I like gossip kind of magazines if I do read them. Because I love to know the gossip even though I know half it's not real. My favourite shoes at the moment. I love probably Adidas NMDs at the moment. Um, the most. Because they're the newest ones that I have and they're the most comfortable things ever. Their soles are literally bent. They're so comfortable. Like your feet feel like they're walking on Mars. They're so comfortable. Um, currently so 
how am I currently feeling? I'm um, feeling pretty happy at the moment, no complaints, just finished college for the summer so feeling pretty happy but I'm kind of, I'm feeling hungry actually to be honest, I'm quite hungry but that's about it, um, I'll be fine, we'll see you after this. Currently single or taken, I am currently single, I think you'd know if I wasn't eating, I wish I was currently eating something but I'm flipping not. Listening to nothing, I'm listening to my own stupid booty voice. <laughs> thinking about, I'm literally just thinking about these questions, I can't think of anything else except for maybe what to have for dinner. Bad watching, watching my bloody self in the camera. Um, but just before I came on I was watching, do you know, Imogen, her um, YouTube is Imogenization I think, but she's so funny. I was watching her video about how she like gained confidence and she like doesn't care what anyone thinks of her. She's so fab. I love her so much. She is magical. She literally makes me laugh every single time. Even when she talks about like a like serious topic like that, she just makes me laugh for the whole thing. Like all the words that she says, she says, you know, but the way that she says it in her accent makes me die with laughter. Don't know. I just love her though. Um, currently wearing, so I'm wearing this jumper from pennies but I've had it a while it's like a cropped I'll show you so it's like a cropped jumper and then I'm just wearing plain black high waisted leggings from pretty little thing that's it I've no shoes on and my lips that I'm wearing by the way is exposed and it's one of the Kylie Cosmetic lip kits so I have liner as well so now we're on to future. Do I want children in the future? Um, when I was younger I always always wanted children and like to get married and now I do still want children but it's just sometimes I'm like I don't know if I'm like cut out for children like I'm not patient and stuff like that and I like joke all the time about not wanting children but obviously I do. <laughs> like when I say I don't want children I don't actually mean it I don't think like for a while I think I did <laughs> like for the last like like a year ago when I used to always say it, I think I, s I pretty much did mean that I didn't want children for a while I don't know why um but then now I'm like I do I do they're cute and I'm like back to being a normal person and like when I see kids like babies I'm like oh, they're so cute but for a while I went through a phase where I just like didn't care I was like don't want kids <laughs> want to be married yeah I would love to be married in the future, obviously. Careers in mind, ugh, don't even talk to me at the moment. I'm so confused with what to do with my life. I don't know what career I want anymore. I change my mind every single day with what I think I'd like to do, so I don't really know. I'm gonna just have to wait and see. Don't need to worry about it yet, anyways. Um, I'm just gonna see what happens and um, relax and stop thinking about stuff so much like I think about stuff and plan stuff so much so I need to just like chill and let myself live and stop being so like I need to do this I need to do that because it just doesn't work like when you plan stuff out it doesn't work it never ends up going exactly to plan and then you just end up disappointed that you didn't go to plan so there's just no point I've literally learned that I'm just like whatever happens happens it'll all work out obviously if you work Hard. not if you just sit at home and you're like nah career will come to me I obviously don't mean that <laughs> Jesus do you believe in oh this is the last section we're ripping through these well I am um, do you believe in God um, I don't know I believe in something that there's something but I don't know for sure if I believe in everything like all that stuff but I do believe in some of it. I can't even explain. God, I'm so confused at the moment. I can't explain anything in my life. Do I believe in miracles? No, not really. Do I believe in love at first sight? No, not like love and first sight. Because like, I don't know. No, I don't. Because like, people kind of grow on you sometimes. That always happens to me. I always like, don't like someone at the start and they grow on me or else I really like them at the start and then I go off them. Like it just, 
you could like grow to love someone you like would like them at the start I think I don't think it's love I think it's like lust <laughs> I don't know um but yeah I don't really believe in that but like I believe that you'd obviously fancy someone at first sight and you might really enjoy their personality when you first speak to them as well so sort of but not like full-on love do I believe in ghosts yeah I actually kind of do like I'm not 100% sure I'm skeptical but I do sort of believe in them just from like experiences and stuff and yeah I don't know I believe that dogs can definitely see ghosts so I think yeah I do believe in ghosts pretty much don't judge but I do and um, aliens I don't really believe in like aliens but I believe there's probably like someone or thing living on like other planets I'd say like I don't know I don't really think about that that much <laughs> um but like they could well be I don't like not believe in them but I'm not like googling about aliens like I don't really care that much to be fair do I believe in soulmates um oh it's tricky I'd love to believe in that because I think it would be really cute but I don't know like I don't know it's weird I'm not sure yeah I sort of do I do believe that there's like meant to, you're like meant to meet someone else so you're like like there's a reason why everything happens and you're obviously meant to be with the person that you do end up with but I'm not really sure if I believe in proper cellmates like I think a lot of people get on really well and like could be really happy together but it doesn't necessarily mean that they might be cellmates I don't know it's really hard to explain isn't it these are so flipping deep and I'm getting so like deep into them as well, I need to stop. And do I believe in heaven? Um, I believe that there's like somewhere that our like souls go, but I don't believe that there's like, well I don't know if I believe that there's like full on heaven in like the clouds. Like I don't know, no, I believe that there's definitely somewhere. Um, we may as well just call it heaven I suppose. It's like another side or something, I don't know, It's I'm weird. Okay, um, do I believe in hell? No, I don't believe in hell, that's horrible, I don't want to believe in hell. Um, that is horrible. Do I believe in kissing on the first date? <laughs> um, I mean, whatever you want. Like, I wouldn't really be me to kiss on the first. Like, if it was my decision, I mean, if someone just goes and kisses you, you're not really gonna. If you like fancy them, you're probably not gonna push them away. But like, if they're absolutely rotten and it's your first date and you're not feeling it and you're not gonna go on another date, then I'd like try my v best to like swerve but like I mean I wouldn't be completely against it but I wouldn't be choosing it do you get me like I wouldn't go out on the intention of having a little smooch on the first date it wouldn't really be me but there's nothing wrong with it like it's up to you it's everyone's different okay and do I believe in myself this is the last question of course I believe in myself um yeah of course I do if I don't believe in myself who the hell's gonna I don't always believe in myself but I try to most of the time and I do and I try and stay positive and just work on my goals because if I don't work on them then no one else will and I'll never achieve them. Okay um, so enough of that I'm kind of glad that's over because that was a little bit cringe. I feel like I kind of whipped through them but yeah I was recording for a good while though so it's really going to take me a while to chop this down. So that's it. I'm done. Um, if there's any other tags that you want me to do I'd love to do them. Because I never know like what ones I should do or like if there's any good ones at the moment. I don't want to do like a real cringy one that like no one else saw this, do you know what I mean? Um But yeah, so if you have any more ideas or anything else that you want me to even talk about, literally anything, just let me know. Um you can comment below or whatever else and or you can Snapchat me actually. I use Snapchat a lot. Um I'll leave my Snapchat here. Yeah, so I'll see you on my next one. Thank you for watching. If you've made it here, I'm sure it's a long video, so you're probably asleep by now. But yeah, so I'll see you in my next video. Bye.